Dear students, we are going to start first chapter. The name of the chapter is Index Numbers. So, very first chapter of standard 12. As you know, you have already learned, you know the definition of statistics. In 11th standard, we already learned. You must be knowing it. it's a combined, it's a collection, organization, presentation, analysis, and interpretation of numerical data. That means for Analyzing numerical data, we have learned different tools like uh, measure of central tendency, dispersion, skewness. These tools we have already learned. But all these tools were not the sufficient for further analysis. Just like these tools, index number is also another tool of analyzing. Okay, so how it is used and where index number can be applied. Okay, forget all these things. We are starting with the current scenario or routine activity that we have seen. Over the period of time, we know prices of the commodities are getting continuously changed. Okay, prices of shares, volume of industrial production or you can say agricultural production, import exports of the country or you can say living expenditure of the household. These are the different variables which keep on continuously changing. So at particular point of time, in reference to that, what has been changed in another particular point of time? So, that can be studied, such changes can be studied or measured with the help of index number. So, in index number, we are going to learn the study of changes. It's a study of changes. Of what? Of different variables. Let us say, how the changes can be studied? So there are two methods of studying the changes. First is absolute changes and another is a relative changes. Changes can be studied with absolute manner or with the relative manner. Achha, absolute changes means what? Usko kaise See, I am taking simple example. Please pay attention over here. Suppose we have got information about two companies, say company A and company B. Uh, let us take uh, time of 2010 and this is another data is of 2018. Okay, suppose during this period from 2010 to 2018, the profit of the company has been Increased by increase in profit for company A and B. Increase in profit for company A, say for example, is 1 lakh rupees. During this 8 years period, company A has Increase its profit by rupees 1 lakh. Or company B ka the profit hai, wo increase hua hai 10,000 rupees. 
कंपनी ए ने अपने प्रॉफिट में कितना इंक्रीमेंट किया एक लाख का और कंपनी बी ने दस हजार का इंक्रीमेंट किया ओके बेस्ड ऑन दिस विच कंपनी हैज परफॉर्म बेटर गिव यस नॉर्मली पीपल विल से कंपनी ए Has performed well because company A's profit has been increased by one lakh rupees. Compared to that, company B's profit has been increased by just ten thousand. So, in these two companies' comparison, is there definitely answer is A. Company A has done well, but now it is just absolute failure. This is absolute change, nothing else. Suppose if I add few more data over. In 2010, company A was earning 10 lakh rupees as a profit, and in 2011, company has made profit of 11 lakh. By that way, there is increment of 1 lakh rupees. And for B, in 2010. Company B was earning just ten thousand as profit, and now Company B is earning twenty thousand profit. So it is increment of ten thousand. But if you say relatively, Company A has increased profit just by ten percent. Thus, what था अभी क्या रहा था वो मतलब परफॉर्मेंस इंक्रीज तो किया लेकिन कितना इंक्रीज किया दस परसेंट का इंक्रीमेंट लेकिन यहां दस हजार से बीस हजार बड़ा ऑलमोस्ट डबल सो यू कैन से इंक्रीमेंट इज हंड्रेड परसेंट नाउ विच कंपनी हैज परफॉर्म बेटर द सिचुएशन इज लिटल डिफरेंट ऑब्वियसली कंपनी बी हैज परफॉर्म बेटर बिकॉज कंपनी बी हैज Double is efficiency. Company B's efficiency has increased by hundred percent compared to the 2010, and Company A's efficiency is just increased by ten percent. And this is called relative changes. If you consider only exact amount of change, it is absolute change. But if you consider relative change, मतलब change in reference to the base point or base value. Is called relative change. So relative changes are always preferred compared to the absolute changes. An index number is a measure of relative changes. Relative changes का measurement है on average basis. So what is index number? Just we have not started with that. But background is that a index number will measure the changes. And that change is in relative manner. Okay. So now continuing further, what is index number now? Index numbers. See, index number is just. A relative change is measurement on percentage basis. Say for example, suppose we are taking prices of the commodity. Say prices of commodity A. Suppose particular point of time, take two thousand eleven. Commodity A was available at twenty rupees per unit, and in two thousand nineteen, that commodity is suppose available in twenty five rupees. Okay, so what is the change? Five rupees. This is absolute change. Okay. So period 2011 particular period के comparison में दूसरे किसी particular period में जो भी variable 
वेरिएबल है वेरिएबल इज प्राइस फॉर अस जो भी वेरिएबल है उसमें रिलेटिव चेंजेस कितना हुआ तो आप देख सकते हो कि 25 हुआ है 20 से तो जो पीरियड की प्राइस के साथ या किसी भी वेरिएबल की वैल्यू के साथ जो पीरियड की प्राइस या वेरिएबल की वैल्यू हम कंपेयर कर रहे हैं तो आप ये समझ के चले कि ये जो पीरियड है उसको हम बोलेंगे बेस पीरियड बेस पीरियड इज द पीरियड विथ विच वैल्यूज ऑफ वेरिएबल इज कंपेयर एंड जो पीरियड के लिए आप कंपेरिजन कर रहे हो मतलब 2019 के लिए आप 11 के रेफरेंस में कंपेरिजन कर रहे हो उसको हम बोलेंगे करंट पीरियड तो पहले तो आपको ये दो चीज पता होनी चाहिए इंडेक्स नंबर का डेफिनेशन पढ़ने से पहले व्हाट इज बेस पीरियड एंड व्हाट इज करंट पीरियड करंट पीरियड इज द पीरियड फॉर विच इंडेक्स नंबर इज कंस्ट जो पीरियड के लिए आप इंडेक्स नंबर कंस्ट्रक्ट करना चाहते हो वो आपका करंट पीरियड है और बेस पीरियड कौन सा है इंडेक्स नंबर कंस्ट्रक्ट करने के लिए रेफरेंस के लिए आप जो पीरियड की वैल्यू कंपैरिजन में ले रहे हो रेफरेंस पॉइंट की तरीके से ले रहे हो वो आपका बेस पीरियड है बेस पीरियड का नोटेशन जीरो है और करंट का नोटेशन वन है अभी समझो मैं प्राइस की बात कर रहा हूं तो प्राइस ऑफ बेस पीरियड तो मैं इसको बोलूंगा पी जीरो और प्राइस ऑफ करंट पीरियड तो मैं इसको बोलूंगा पी वन तो इंडेक्स नंबर इज डिनोटेड बाय आई जीरो वन जीरो स्टैंड फॉर बेस पीरियड एंड वन स्टैंड फॉर करंट पीरियड ओके वन मोर थिंग आई नीड टू क्लैरिफाई ओवर हेयर I am using the word base period and current period. It doesn't mean base period must be a year. Base year and current year. ऐसा मैं नहीं बोल रहा हूँ. मैं बोल रहा हूँ base period and current period. I may compare prices of January to prices of December. Then base period is a month. January is a month. December is a month. So base period generally year wise comparisons are there. So generally we use year as a period. लेकिन यहां पे ऐसा जरूरी नहीं है कि पीरियड ही होना मतलब ईयर ही होना चाहिए ओके सो आई जीरो वन एज वैल्यू ऑफ करंट पीरियड ओके मतलब ट्वेंटी फाइव वैल्यू ऑफ बेस पीरियड मतलब ट्वेंटी इन टर्म्स ऑफ परसेंटेज सो इन टू हंड्रेड वन बी डी सी इट इज वेरी सिंपल टू थाउजेंड इलेवन टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन 2011 की प्राइस जो 20 थी वो 20 का प्राइस बढ़ के टू में 25 हुआ सपोज ये 100 होता तो प्राइस क्या होती अब ये सिंपली काम करते इसका अर्थ क्या हुआ 100 इंटू ट्वेंटी फाइव डिवाइड बाय ट्वेंटी सो इट इज देयर एंड दिस इज नोन एज P1 वन अपॉन पी जीरो Into hundred, it is really price related. P one by P zero, expressed in terms of hundred, so it becomes index. So index number is now we are forming definition, very simple form of definition. I don't go by textbook definition. I go by understandable form. What is index number? Index number is A ratio of, or you can say percentage ratio of value of current period to the value of base period, or you can say it is a measure of relative changes on average basis in percentage form is index number. Okay. so what we have learned in this lecture just i am recapping the things commodity prices or few other variables 
are depending on changing and measurement of such changes is not possible with standard tools of analysis we do have for that purpose some another tool is required and that tool is index number to understand index number we need to understand the changes so changes can be measured or studied with the two methods absolute measure and relative measure in absolute measure only the change amount or change value is considered and compared but in relative measure change with reference to the original value is measured and relative measurement is considered as better measurement index number is just a relative measure of changes on average basis expressed in terms of percentage to understand index number we need to understand two three more things one is a base period another is a current period current period is the period in which or for which index number is constructed and base period is the period with which values are compared of current period that's all for this lecture thank you very much